Welcome back to Middlefield Custom Sawmill. We're at Nate's today and he's been busy building stuff. Not me, Austin. <laughs> this is all Austin's. This is all Austin's, huh? Well, that's heavy duty stuff there. And there's another one over there for the logs and the, the crane up on top. Yep. You guys have been busy. I like this. Your little drawbridge. That weighs 7,000 pounds. Yep. <laughs> Austin's drawbridge there. He's going to dig a moat and put some gators in it, I think. <laughs> That's some heavy duty stuff. Yeah, you got to lift with your legs on, on, <laughs> on that drawbridge. Yeah. And what are you doing today, Nate? We got an order for, uh, what, 10? 12. 12 two, two by, by fours. fours. Eight foot. Eight foot long. So we got to get that done. Two by four by eight. Okay. Yep, real easy one. All right, well, let's make some sawdust. Heck yeah. centers that you want to get. Right. Kind of Looks like six to me. This is an ugly one, buddy. It's uh, oh, the, pith is, the pith is way up. It's off center, that's why. Yeah, it is. Yeah, let's raise it another two inches. Okay. What do you think, George? I think it's spruce. Could be. All these knots not going to make good two by fours, but it won't. It's okay. I really just want to test my log turner. Yeah, <laughs> go for it. I mean, you can take another cut off the top. Get this down a little more now. Yeah. Good idea. So let's flip it up and get this side against the dogs. Okay. And then I can raise this end again and get it centered for you. Okay. So we're going to grab right my camera and get it out of your way. No. Well, well, if we just pull it forward, then it'll be fine, yeah. right? Just go this way with the job. All right. So in a few seconds, my GoPro overheats and locks up, but Nate made an entire video of this log turner over on his Bissell Maple Farm channel. So if you want to see it, Hop over there and check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. Ooh. It is hot out here. My camera keeps shutting off because it gets hot, people. But there's what we cut. The bottom is flat.
sometimes you get lucky. I was accidentally right. So important adjustment on the Woodland Mills, you have two plates here. And you see that gap there and the one up here? These plates, you squeeze them together so that the sawmill doesn't do this. Yep. So what do you, you said you got 58 hours? Yeah, like 52 and... So you probably need to adjust them like every 50 hours. Huh? That's what I'm thinking. I wanna see how much this side moves. Or we never did it. See that's moving. Well, they do. They just slide so it in. To do that, you just loosen the nuts. I wonder if you have to align it somehow so that you're not cocked at an angle. What I'm doing is I'm just pushing it till it touches the the metal. Right where it's sitting. Yeah, because that because it's cutting good where it's sitting. So. Yeah. If only somebody put my sockets away. My sockets are missing, George. You believe that? <laughs> we just need that other part. See how these are missing, George? Yeah. I just can't imagine who who would have done that. As much as I like to tease him about his organization, he gets her done, George. Oh yeah. I've seen him saw. <laughs> I did beat him though the last time I was here. It was just me and him. Oh yeah? So Didn't I finished my a... log first because I took bigger cuts. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> so he cut them all we stood them up on end we got to do a cut here and a cut here to make two by fours and a sticker at the top Two by fours. <laughs> nice long straight ones. So then Nate selected this log to test his crane. So if you want to see how that turned out, hop over to his channel at Thistle Maple Farm and see what happened. In the meantime, thanks for watching. <laughs> So, George, you asked why I overbuilt it so much. It's because Nate likes to do stuff like this to it. <laughs> oh, we're out of gas. Oh, dang. That figures. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>